Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is a nice old realistic lab 300 and we have only some slight issues with this one actually some pretty significant issues but I think we're gonna be able to figure them out pretty quick found this thing on Facebook marketplace man I'll tell you what this time of year it is so hard to find turntables uh, at the Christmas time so everybody and their brother are uh, snapping them up when they come uh, onto the market this one I think I got a hold of it because it was listed as working only in manual mode so it works perfect as you can hear in manual mode the moment you hit the reject button it gets stuck in this cycle of can't keep it speed nothing's working right blah 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 so we're gonna open it up we're gonna take a look let's see what we can find All right, I'm going to bring you down here with me. That did not take long at all, did it? Uh, I immediately spotted the issue. See that crack? Now, finding one of these uh, cogs that is the right size is going to be tough. So I think we're probably going to be best off. Um, gosh, dang it. You know what? On the, like, the techniques and those models, usually I have a spare. I wonder if we'll be able to find one off of another unit that'll work. I'm gonna go look around. All right, that massive noise there were the couple of turntable candidates that I found here. This is an old Pioneer um, 1980s model. It does have a spindle down there and I am gonna go ahead and pull it apart and pull that off and see if that one will work. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but um, it's gonna have to have the exact same amount of teeth and the teeth, the depth of the teeth is going to have to be really similar as well. Um, so we'll give that one a try. And then there's another one here. This one is a Sony. And this one doesn't have one on. <laughs> it doesn't have one uh, on, on the uh, direct drive motor here. It actually has it on here. So I'm actually gonna try this one first because this one is really accessible. Um, but son of a gun, it's cracked too. What the heck? Are you kidding me? I probably trashed this one because I didn't see that. Let's see here. Oh my, oh my, that's on there good. All right, well, let's get to work. Okay, uh, well, I made it pretty far. One of the turntables uh, definitely won't work. It's just too big. Uh, this one is uh, perfect uh, from a it's gonna fit standpoint uh, but as you can see uh, the gearing is completely different on them so uh, nada what we're gonna end up doing is getting this really really super clean it's cracked on both sides man this thing is in bad shape but uh, what we're gonna do is uh, little JB Weld. Hopefully that'll work. Alright, you're seeing me measure over and over and over again. Uh, I really don't want to get this wrong because I went and on one of the <laughs> Uh, between the videos, uh, these are these are hard to find, so don't want to really mess this one up. But uh, I roughed it up with some really really super fine grit. I think I have 800 and 1200 here, and started with the 1200. That wasn't enough, so 800 it is, and it's actually got a lot more grip already. So I think we're gonna we're gonna be good. Um, so this is actually looking quite promising. All 
right, the glue up is done and we put some rubber bands on it. So hopefully that will help it seat dry really well. Maybe I might put a little bit more in this crack right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put some more in there. All right, we are back. It's the next night. Uh, yesterday, I did not get back down here. So we got to set up all night. I already took the rubber bands off. And what I ended up doing was uh, recessing some JB weld down in there and some JB weld in here. And that dude is on there. So if I messed it up and didn't set this right, well, we're gonna need a new one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it back on. Uh, first, we're gonna lubricate everything, get everything kind of cleaned up here so I can actually work in here. Well, I have uh, reached a point where I am going to close her down for the night again. Uh, this one, usually I only put like a couple hours into something before I decide that it's a parts project or it's going to become a parts piece. This one I'm going to go ahead and continue to work on. Uh, the issue became that <laughs> the groove that I filled in with the JB Weld last night uh, as my extra uh, ends up needing to be there because it recesses into here. So big, big goof up on my part. Um, so eh, tomorrow I'll probably go out and shave some off of this, hoping that that will solve my problem uh, and that this piece will actually work. I might actually just go out on eBay and see if I can find um, somebody who's selling a parts unit and see if I can scavenge this piece off of it. Because this is a good unit. I actually was able to replace the, uh, or while I was had it upside down, I, I replaced the foam, the damper, that's in the springs. So it was setting uneven. So now it's setting even. This is a good unit. I like it a lot. I don't want to see it go to the bin. Um, so it might end up going though. I don't know. Let's, let's, uh, Let's hope not, but it could. All right, tomorrow. Okay, just kidding. I was like, I turned around and I like started to climb up the stairs. I turned out the lights and everything. And then it dawned on me uh, what I could do to actually get uh, this to drill out. Cause I really needed to, I, I really needed to get that JB weld out of there. Right. And trying to get that out of there. I tried to pick a little bit of it. it nah, no, nah, that stuff's not going to come out. Um, it's kind of futile to, to do that. But what I ended up doing was roughing up the inside lip of the, um, uh, the plate with some sandpaper and then using a drill and some of this nice, um, white foam type stuff. I don't know. It's kind of grippy for your cabinets. And I put it in, uh, put it around this, and then I put this on here and drilled it in. And then I just held the plate and pulled at the same time, and it worked. It uh, pulled uh, all but a little bit of the JB weld out of there uh, and leveled everything. So it actually, it works, uh, and it works really, really, really well. Uh, big thumbs up love this stuff I love it when it works out like this so um, let's give it a listen and then maybe get a time on it man this has been a really challenging unit to work on I thought this was gonna be really super easy once I saw that it was just uh, 
the gear that had cracked, but uh, man, that proved to be quite the quite the involved little little player here. All right, let's listen to it. All right, this is done, 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 done. And I must have hit the uh, the reject button on accident there. <laughs> All right. Now it's done. It's done now. This is good. I like this unit. This is pretty good. I don't like this. This is kind of the, the one thing that really is not great about it. But it's done. It's a good player. And somebody will get a lot of use out of this thing. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And have a good evening, morning, midday, middle of the night. Whenever you're watching. Have a good one.